after a first three points of the campaign and a deserve one at that. Yeah, absolutely. Listen, we, we dedicate that, that win to Trevor Francis and his family. You know, I thought the performance really marked a special day. I thought we were outstanding with him without the ball and, you know, really pleased to, to get three points. Yeah, It was a, a late spot, lit, spot kick that settled it through the reliable Lukas Jukovic. But Ethan Laird on the front foot to win it. I think the whole team were on the front foot, you know, at, at real important times. You know, we've uh, coming into the last five or six minutes, lovely bit of passage of play and, and to switch the play like we've been working on all, all food pre-season. You know, it's a great, uh, Ethan's a great player in them situations and I think it was a deserved penalty. Obviously, Juki, you know, club legend, you know, it marked a, a real special day with him stepping up and putting the ball away. So, you know, really pleased. You got into some really good positions in that first half. Was it just that little bit of care that needed to be taken with the final pass? It was. I thought well, our shape without the ball was outstanding today. The level of discipline the boys showed against an excellent team leads to a serious team at this level. And you know they got some unbelievable players. But the way the way that we um, we, we we were disciplined in our shape and won the ball back in good areas and little bits of football. You know it's just a shame in that final third we just weren't clinical enough or we didn't play the right pass. And that's something that we'll just keep growing and. Building building and, and we'll get better at. Yeah, and when you look down the other end, you've restricted them to very few, if any, chances at all. Yeah, again, you know, that's that's down to the tactical game plan that we wanted. You know, I, I went to uh, Cardiff to Cardiff game last week. You know, I saw the South, uh, South, Southampton. I saw the, um, the, the game against uh, Northampton in the week as well. So, you know, we knew that how, how much of a threat they are in that final third and, you know, the level of concentration and discipline from the boys had to show today was was immense. You know, we got two wingers in Denver and Backer helping out at the back, you know, you know, again just really pleased for them and um no, it was, it was good. Yeah, positive changes to try and go and win the game and it felt like as that game was, was growing we were only gonna be the side to go and win it. Yeah, definitely. I think since we've come in, you know, I want to be on. I want to win. I win games. I want to be uh, attacking all the time. I want to get bums off the seat. And you know, yes, tactically we, we were good today, but to put on them players at the end as well to go and win the game was was really encouraging. I thought all subs that came on today were outstanding. Um, you know, it's about the squad. I, I said that all the time that you know it's about that squad, that togetherness. Whoever plays know their jobs. Whoever comes off the pitch, onto the pitch, know their jobs and do their jobs. And it's about that 22, 23 players in that dressing room again you know putting a shift for this fantastic football club some atmosphere here this afternoon nearly 21,000 the biggest attendance here in over three years how big a part did they play they're amazing you know they're amazing they've been amazing ever since I've been at the football club you know the football club's really heading in the right direction now you know we've got an owner who wants to make this football club world brand you know and you can see by the the backing that he's got and, and the people he's bringing in and, and all the fantastic work that he's doing around um, the training ground and the stadium you know he, he really wants to take this club to another level you know and I think everyone in, uh, who's a part of this football club at the moment are, are very proud of that and um, you know it's it's going to be a, some, one hell of a journey. Yeah. Tom Wagner in attendance but Tom Brady as well I know he spoke to the players pre-game what was that like as an experience? He did, yeah. No, Tom came down and um, he spoke to the boys, and you know, obviously uh, he's a sporting icon, one of the most famous people in the world, and you know, just to have some uh, chats, uh, some words from him to the boys was was brilliant, and um, you know, that's it's good. Well done today, Gaffer. Thank you.